Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. This is the third time that I've tried to film this video and it's really hard to get a good angle when you're doing something like this, but today's video is going to be a collab with Cami of Cami's Closet and we're showing what is in our curio cabinet. So I'm going to step back at the end of this and show you what the whole cabinet looks like. I have the door open right now so we can get a better look at some of the things. So one of my subscribers was really excited to learn that I collect Barbie, and I do. These are my vintage Barbies. I do have a couple others that aren't in the curio, but the one that you're looking at right now in the multicolor bathing suit, she is a 1969 flip Barbie. She has the flip hair. That's her original bathing suit. She's in excellent condition. She doesn't have green anywhere. She's not missing any hair. She's not missing any makeup. She's really, really an excellent specimen. And you can see her swimsuit is nice and bright. I don't want to take it out because it's going to be very hard to me, for me to get everything back inside. So we're going to just have to admire a little bit from afar. So next to her is a bubble cut Barbie. And unfortunately, she has green in her ears because the previous owner put earrings in her and she didn't come with earrings and the metal reacted with the plastic and whatever else has been in there has made her ears green. Now there is a way to remove it. I've done it before. I'm gonna to have to take it out and work on her to get the green out of her ears because it really is upsetting to me that she has it. She has all the nail polish on her fingers. These dolls came with painted fingers and toes in the 60s. So that's all there. She's in otherwise very good condition. She's a later 60s doll because she has paler makeup. And I want to say she's probably from about 1964. I really would like to get my hands on an American Girl Barbie. They're the hardest ones to get. I don't have any. And I would really, really love to have one. So through the flamingos here, you could see I have another bubble cup Barbie. She is from 1962. I believe the outfit that she's wearing is called Movie Date. And by the way, they're all dressed in original clothes. This Barbie is in exceptional condition. She's really, really, you can see her face. Her face is really perfect. She has all of her makeup. She has her nail polish. She doesn't have green anywhere. She's really just in spectacular condition. And her dress has sort of a little organdy overlay over it. And if you ever saw any of these old Barbie costumes or dresses, these were not made like the ones that were made in the later 70s or 80s. These all have functional zippers. They have snaps. They're really couture made clothes that if you look at them, they're just absolutely stunning. And they were made to look like the fashions of the day in very, very good fabrics. And they're just really works of art. So the Barbie that's next to her in the yellow outfit with the multicolored skirt, that outfit is called Loop Scoop, I believe. And she is a 1967 Barbie, and she's from my birth year. Shh. She's also in excellent condition. It's really hard to find these with their hair not damaged. And she doesn't have any hair missing. I'll just see if I could spin her. No, I'm not going to be able to turn her. But I can go around the side to show you what her hair looks like. She has really long hair. This is one of the first Barbies that had the long hair because long hair became more popular in the 60s. And you can see it's kind of pulled up a little bit on the top. She's also really beautiful. And I want to say that she's the first year where the legs bent. So while I'm on the side... I have a collection of Marilyn Monroe figurines and ornaments. I have a Marilyn mug. I have a Marilyn ornament. This is a little Hallmark snowman ornament. This is a Norman Rockwell. Oh, and my other Marilyn here, it looks like she fell. So let's get her and put her right side up. And let me reach in. Good Lord, it really is. Yeah, this is from There's No Business Like Show Business, I believe. And this is just absolutely stunning. 
she has one of the nicest Marilyn faces on any of the ornaments. And look at her earrings. I think this was made by Carlton, if I'm not mistaken. 2002. Yeah, you could read on the bottom. But she's really an absolutely stunning Marilyn. So on this shelf, I also have some other Barbie collectibles. I have some Barbie Hallmark ornaments. This is Roman Holiday. This is, I think this was called Evening in Paris. This is a Holiday Barbie. This is a Barbie Dreamhouse ornament. Um, I have a collection of the Rankin Bass figurines. We have Santa with the Island of Misfit toys, toys around him. We have the snowman. There's Abominable. Here's Hermie the Elf with Rudolph, and he lights up. I don't know if you could see it. He might need a battery, actually. Here's Hermie on his own. Yukon Cornelius. Another Hermie with Rudolph. I think this one is a Lennox. Sorry about that. Um, I love flamingos, so I have my collection of flamingos. These are vintage flamingos. This one is iron. This one came from this one came from um, an ornament shop, I believe. I don't remember where this flamingo came from, but pretty sure that that's also a really collectible pottery. Might be rosewood. I'm not a million percent sure. So I have another Barbie. We have some Funko Pop Game of Thrones figurines. I love Game of Thrones. On this shelf, I have a Jean doll. And Jean was a fictional movie star. Jean, let's see, it says it on her tag. I'm drawing a blank for her name. Here we go, Jean. Jean Merrill, was it? Hmm. This is by Mel Odom. He's the designer. I can't remember what Jean, Jean Marshall, I think her name was. And I want to say she's an 18 inch doll. She's dressed in this beautiful velvet cape. She's got a little faux fur stole. This is a sequined dress with this gorgeous sequined necklace. And I have another outfit for her here that I don't know that I've ever really put on her, but I have the full outfit. She's got little stockings. There's a pearl necklace. Uh, there's shoes. There's little pantyhose. I mean, it's the full complete set for this particular outfit. And it's just basically been on display. This is one of my absolute favorite pieces. I adore Frank Sinatra. This is my Barbie Loves Frank Sinatra set. And if you look, you could see they did an excellent job with young Frank Sinatra's face. He's just absolutely magnificent. And then you have your Bobby Soxer Barbie next to him. And she's got her little outfit, her little school jacket, plaid skirt. And she should be wearing saddle shoes. Yeah, she's got kind of like little saddle heels. And at the bottom, you could see the picture of Frank, what they tried to recreate. And I think that they did just an unbelievable job. This is one of my absolute favorite things. So I have a small collection of Stife. And I have a few other pieces in my secretary, which I'll show on another occasion, because I think Cammie wants to do a part two, because she's got quite a few things. So I have this little Stife Hedgehog. I have, no, he's a mole. I'm sorry. This is a little hedgehog. He's very, very vintage. And you can see he's got the little button in his ear. He's got the little hang tag and the number. Uh, some more Rankin Bass Christmas ornaments. And these were collectible cars that my dad collected. They were Hallmark ornaments. Most of them are really very hard to get. And in fact, when they were released, they were usually some of the first pieces to sell out as soon as they hit. 
So there's a couple of Lionel train sets and the cars, and this is a push car. He had one of these when he was little, so we got him one of those for Christmas one year, and the Radio Flyer Wagon. And then there's just some bottles and some things that I was gifted, some little small pottery pieces. <coughs> Excuse me, on the next shelf, I have some Madame Alexander dolls, and many of these are dolls of the world. Some are storybook dolls, and there's quite a lot there. Um, I have some um, going with the wind. In the very, very, very back, there's just a little German folk doll. You could see her. I think she's a little German folk doll, or she possibly could be Shirley Temple from Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. It's been so long since I've seen the back of it, I don't know. But you could see some of the dolls of the world here. Um, that's Miss Thailand. I believe that this is either, hmm, I'm not sure which country that this doll is here. Hmm. Let's see if there's any, if there's any hint. Oops. Switzerland. She's a little Miss Switzerland. Let me get her hat. So, put her hat back on her. I have Disney Mickey Mouse, or Mouseketeer, I should say. I think I might have bought this Mouseketeer when I was in Disney World in the early 90s. And, let's see. This is Miss India in the front. She's one of the most beautiful, I think. I have... Uh, I want to say this, this might be Greece here on the left, this dark haired doll with this blue dress. And there's a couple of storybook characters in the back. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a pretty good collection. I also have some Alexanders that were specials for the Collectors Club, which I belong to. So I know the one down in the front here with the poodle skirt that absolutely came from Disney World. I have the ballerina. Unfortunately, her dress has turned. I have Scarlett O'Hara in the back. That's the dress that she made out of the draperies. Um, poor Cinderella. Mother Goose. Some of these are from the McDonald's Alexander collection. So, yeah, there's quite a few of those. A couple of other vintage dolls here of unknown origin, but they're really beautiful composite dolls. And then I have an Avon Barbie down here. I have a Madame Alexander Cinderella, which is a big doll. I have a Marie Antoinette. I'm not really sure she fell over. I'm not really sure who makes her, but she's vintage and I think she's beautiful. Little Women Joe. Here's another Marilyn Monroe in the back in this gold or silver lame outfit. And then some figurines. Um, this is my Cat Beauty's paw print. Some more Alexander's. Another little collectible cat. A little Valentine statue. An August statue for my birth month. And then this little girl with the heart. Who, it turns out, looks exactly like my friend Marie when she was a baby. Which is really strange, but very, very true. So that's a rundown of what's in my curio. I'm going to show it from the side so you can get a different view of some of these pieces. Um, this is a Wade, if you could see it here, this is a Wade Flamingo. And let's see, I feel like I'm missing some of my Marilyns that are kind of in there and not so obvious. So we're back to the side and down at the bottom. I want to just step back so that you can see everything. This does light up, but it's very hard to see with the light from the camera. So that's what it looks like. It's five tiers and it goes to the ceiling. And I just think it's really, really beautiful. So, yeah. So, oh, seeing the, the part of my vacuum. 
this little doll here that's on the chair I'm going to show in the part two video. She's really special and I have a story with that. But I'm going to sign off for now. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want any more information about some of these things, please leave me a question in the comments section and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and please go over to Cammie's channel. Cammie is an absolute doll. She has such a great handbag collection and she's an absolute sweetheart. I think you're going to love her. So have a great day, fathers. Please have a wonderful Father's Day to all the dads and I will be seeing you soon. Thank you.